Now, this is just coming in. We have an update on the issue of the petition received by the president uh, against Madame Charlotte Ose, chairperson of the Electoral Commission. We understand the president has taken action on that petition. Now, my colleague Beatrice Edu has joined me with details of exactly what has happened. Beatrice, so what has the president done? All right, so the president, according to the title of this uh, statement we've received, uh, signed by the Director of Communications, Eugene Ahin, it, it says that President Akofuado refers petition against EC chairperson to Chief Justice. And I'll just read what it says. It says, the President of the Republic, Nana Adodanko Akofuado, on Wednesday, 26th of July, 2017, referred the petition purporting to invoke Article 1463 of the Constitution in respect of the office of the chairperson of the EC, Mrs. Charlotte said to the Chief Justice, uh, Justice Sophia Akofo. It goes on to say that whilst the president was out of the country, the office of the president received a petition, initially undated and unsigned, against the chairperson of the EC. Subsequently, Counsel Max Olopokwajima and Esquire, by letter dated 20th July 2017, wrote to the office of the president, setting out the names of the petitioners and the date of the petition. And then finally, it says, pursuant to the terms of Article 1463, President Akufuado has thus referred the petition to the Chief Justice for resolution in accordance with the provisions of Article 1463. Right. So that's in simple terms, the President has referred the petition to the Chief Justice. Indeed. And we know that after this, then it means that you're starting the process of looking into the allegations and, you know, the internal ragging. Establishing if a prima facie case can mm -hmm. be found against Madame Osei, which would necessitate a further investigation. Exactly. That is how what, what the lawyers say is expected to happen. Uh, so thank you very much, Beatrice Edu, for those details. We will be bringing you the latest on the issues surrounding the Electoral Commission and the petition filed against Madame Charlotte Osei.